Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill John. In past Netcasts, I've talked about how to use the automatic subtotals feature to quickly create subtotals by customer. And then once we have the subtotals, we have the three group and outline buttons that let us see all of the detail records or just the customer records. Once we're able to see just the customer totals, a problem that pops up is that we often want to format just the total rows. And as I've shown in previous podcasts, this often involves using edit, go to special, and then selecting visible cells only. Well, I mentioned, I think previously that we can use alt semicolon to replicate that entire process of edit, go to special, visible cells only. But someone pointed out to me that an even easier way than using alt semicolon is to customize the toolbar. And there is an icon available called select visible cells, press select visible cells, and then you can apply a special formatting, maybe bold or a special color to those total rows. And then when we go back to show the details, the totals are set off in a different color. Now, in case you've forgotten how to customize the toolbar, you want to right click the toolbar and choose customize. You're then shown the customize dialog with the center tab, the commands tab. You can go through the various categories, look in the edit category and scroll down on the right hand side and you will see the icons for select visible cells or select current region. Both great icons to have on your toolbar. Once you find them, just drag them and drop them at the right spot on the toolbar. Click close and they'll always be available to you. These settings are fairly permanent. You'll have them until you get a new computer. To move your toolbar settings from one computer to another, you need to find the .tlb file on your computer and copy that to the new computer. Hey, another great trick for customizing toolbars. Once the dialog is displayed, you're allowed to move buttons from place to place. But an even better trick, if you want to move a button to a new place, hold down the Alt key while you click and drag and you're able to move that button to a different spot on any toolbar without displaying the customized dialog box. Hey, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.